Uh, okay, okay, okay. All right, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about how to get respect and what to do if you are being disrespected. Now, for me, I think that if you are being disrespected, you got to leave. You got to walk away from the person that is disrespecting you. For me, as a man, the number one thing that I crave is respect. Like, I demand respect. And the way that I get respect is I only associate with people that respect me. If somebody disrespects me, that's it. Like, that's it. If I leave an interaction with somebody not feeling respected, I limit my time with them. And I continue to limit my time with them until they are completely cut out of my life. Respect is very important. Now, everybody has their own values. Some people don't really care for respect. And if you don't care for respect, that's cool. If you want to go around letting people disrespect you, that's on you. But I'm pretty sure we all have standards for ourselves and we all have things that we value and things that we want to get out of other people. And if you're not getting what you want out of other people, the way that you deal with it is you just cut those people off. Because you can't force somebody to respect you. It's either they are or they aren't. And if they're not treating you the way that you want to be treated, you got to cut them off and say, deuces, it is what it is. You know, you got to remember who you are. You got to remember that you are, like, you are all of that in a bag of chips. You are lit. You are the man. You are the man. And because you are the man, you don't tolerate disrespect. I ain't going to let nobody talk to me crazy. I ain't going to let nobody treat me like I'm basic. I ain't going to let nobody walk all over me and make me feel like I'm inadequate. If you ain't treating me like I'm royalty, it's over. It's clicked. And it, it is what it is. Like, that's how you got to be. You got to be hardcore with it. <sighs> yeah, I mean, that, that is actually very, very huge. Um... Yeah, you know, you got to have some pride about yourself. You got to have dignity. Always carry yourself with dignity. Don't allow yourself to treat yourself or to be treated by other people like you are a background character. Because you are not a background character. You the man. You the main character. You lit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you lit. So if you allow people to treat you like you don't matter, you are bugging. Yo, Making, acting like you're someone's slave is stupid. <laughs> like, fiending and chasing after somebody who clearly ain't really checking for you is stupid. And you should look your mother and your father in the face and tell them what you're doing so that they can tell you that they are disappointed in you and what you're doing is stupid. So I ain't gonna hold you. If you get in friend zoned, you're being stupid. If you're in a relationship where you ain't being valued, you're being stupid. If you had a job and they ain't paying you right, you're being stupid. You got to demand respect. Ain't no amount of money. Ain't no amount of attention. Ain't no amount of friendliness and hugs and kisses worth dis disrespect. That ain't worth disrespect. And this is why some people achieve greatness and some people don't because the people that achieve greatness, they are not willing to settle for mediocrity or average. They are willing to pay whatever price they got to pay in order to reach the tippy top of their potential. They, I heard Andrew Tate say this. He said, I refuse to die as anything less than emperor. Woo! When I heard him say that, I was like, that's my guy. Because I refuse to die as anything less than phenomenal. Like, how dare you? You got all these gifts and you got all this potential. And you just go and leave the earth average? You telling me you don't want to be great? You telling me you don't want to be known? You don't want to be remembered? You don't want to have a legacy? You don't want to be important? You telling me you want to be regular and normal? That is so weak. And when you find people that don't want to be great, you got to stay away from these people because I'm telling you, if you have phenomenal dreams and you hang around with average people who don't got phenomenal dreams and who comfortable being average, they will make you lower your dreams. So now you don't want to be phenomenal no more. Like now you 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 get comfortable 
shooting for average goals and average dreams and an average legacy. Nah, son. You got to feed yourself things that's going to cause you to dream bigger and aspire to do more. You got to hang out with people that's going to make you feel a little insecure because they're shooting for the stars. Nobody got time to hang out with average, mediocre people, man. And if you got average, mediocre people in your life, like you're going to have to lead by example. So you're going to have to feed yourself motivation. You're going to have to get busy. You're going to have to get focused. And hopefully, hopefully, you know, they peep game and they start to pick up the paces in their own life. But if they don't pick it up, you got to cut them off. Why? Because we're trying to be great. We're trying to be winners. We're trying to go to that next level. We don't got time to be losers. And we don't got time to hang around losers. Point blank, period. All right, so here's another thing, right? So I did this video <clears throat> on my TikTok, and I was saying never let a man whisper when talking to you. Now, what I meant to say was there are some guys who will talk very low, and when you're trying to talk to them, like they won't even make eye contact with you. They'll just kind of talk, you know, like under their breath. And you know when you see it, and they're doing this because they don't feel like you deserve the respect of them, you know, speaking up and, you know, engaging with you properly. They kind of see you as beneath them. Now, if you've never experienced that, then this video ain't for you. But if you've experienced it and somebody, and you, and you peep game a little bit, and you see somebody doing that to you, in the conversation. Say, all right, you know, I'm going to talk to you later. Like, all right, that's it. You can't tolerate being around people. You can't be friends with people who don't see you as important like if somebody don't see you as valuable why are they your friend why are they in your life that that's crazy to me um so yeah like i know a lot of guys that do that and it's a very alpha move so i actually all right so one guy was like um hey let me give you guys an example so if i say hey man what's up and you're like hey, what up bro how you doing not even looking at me, but you just, if you, you're right there, right? And I'm like, hey, how you doing? You're just like, oh, what up, bro? You know what's good? Yeah, so you know. It's like, yo, bro, you can't give me the common decency of giving me eye contact and actually speaking with a little bit more energy so I can hear you? No, but nah, you want to whisper, so I got to be, huh, huh, huh? Nah, man, we ain't doing that. Come on, son. Like, and I know me, like, I'm, I'm a little over the top. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, yo, if you ain't going to speak to Barack Obama like that, you better not dare speak to me like that. I am Samuel Emanuel Dickerson Jr. Put some respect on my name. And that's just me. That's the way that I see myself. If you're not that confident to, you know, do you. But that ain't me, sweetheart. Like, I'm confident. Like, I'm sorry. Like, my name means something. The blood in my veins means something. If you don't feel like that about yourself, that's all on you. But look, so anyway... Uh, so one guy, he comments, based on his small hands, we can deduce certain probabilities that involves short plus men plus syndrome. So short men syndrome. OK. I am not the kind of person that has any shame whatsoever. I do not feel embarrassment whatsoever. I am not ashamed about anything whatsoever i am literally an open book there are like i cannot be harmed by any secrets about me getting out there because anything that i've ever done i probably made a video about it i don't care because i'm crazy confident you know what i'm saying i ain't even gonna hold you but um yeah like i'm five eight yeah okay my hands are high you know they kind of big you know like, I, I think you know i don't know but even if they wasn't i don't care like okay um, and I say this because to all of you guys watching this, embrace your insecurities, embrace your flaws, embrace who you are. You know what I'm saying? Like this side of my beard is fuller. So I, I sit on the camera more to this way. This side of the beard ain't as full. So, you know, I don't really show it that much. I don't care. Like it is what it is. Like, so yeah, like I'm saying, embrace your flaws, embrace who you are. Cause that's confidence and that is strength. And when you can embrace every part of yourself, you are able to walk into any room, any situation completely fearless. Like when you are able to embrace yourself 
and embrace anything that might or could happen to you, you can be completely fearless. I've been in the most high tension situations in life and cool as a cucumber, heartbeat cool, blood pressure ain't elevated. I'm right, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, let's do this. And that's confidence, but you get there when you embrace who you are, when you embrace your limitations, and when you embrace your positive attributes, I wanna say, and also when you've gone through things in life, like you know, when you've been jumped in, got beat over the head with a Hennessy bottle, and you survived that, and you still fight back? You know I got a resume that say, I'm tough, baby, let's go, let's do this. So yeah, I mean, um, so and this is another thing to like the young guys out there, don't be soft, you know what I'm saying? Like. You know, go through some things so that when you're older, you got a resume that says, like, yeah, you know, I, I've survived certain things in life, you know? So, yeah. I think that's the key to being a confident man, you know? Be fearless and go through things and don't shy away from adversity. Embrace your flaws. Embrace your, you know, your positive attributes. Embrace who you are and just don't care what people think. Everybody got insecurities. Everybody has things that they're struggling with. Nobody is perfect you're gonna be all right. I used to interview a bunch of the most like famous rappers. Like I've met Cardi B, I've met Migos, I've met um, like a lot of them, um, like really like a lot of them. And they regular people, you know what I'm saying? So the people that society puts up on pedestals, they're regular people that feel regular emotions. And when it comes to levels of happiness, they're just as happy as your normal person, quote unquote. You know what I'm saying? Like the biggest, uh, the biggest determining factor in someone's happiness is how disciplined and fulfilling they are and how disciplined and fulfilled they are with the work that they're doing and how proud of themselves uh, and how proud of themselves that they are. I think I messed that up. And if whether or not they're proud of themselves, I'll say it that way. So, yeah, like. Yeah, you know, if somebody really, you know, wants to be happy, I would say. Don't do things that you know to be wrong. You know what I'm saying? Or don't do things that you know ain't that good for you. Um, the other day I was having a conversation with a friend. I was like, yo, you know, she was like, Is, do you think, because I don't curse. And I was like, yo, stop cursing. She was like, oh, why are you telling me not to curse? And I was like, you know, because it's derogatory. You know, you, it, you, you can speak better. You don't have to use profanity. She was like, well, it's, it's, I don't think there's anything intrinsically wrong with cursing. And you know what? There probably isn't anything intrinsically wrong with cursing. But would you be better if you didn't curse? Probably. So it's like, why not do the things that will probably be better for you? Like, is smoking cigarettes probably, you know, I mean, no, say it this way. Is cigarettes definitely going to kill you? Probably not. But would you be healthier if you didn't smoke cigarettes? Probably you would. So common sense and wisdom says do the things that would probably be better for you. You know? <sighs> yeah. This is going good. I like this. Just me ranting off to the camera. You know what I'm saying? You know how we do it. Um, yeah, dude really tried to say I had short hand or I had small hands. So I must be short. Like I'm 5'8", bro. Like. 5'8 slash 5'9. Even if I, like, I don't care. Oh, you think I'm short? Oh, do you think I'm short? Okay, I'm still handsome and confident. I can still speak well. I still got a nice smile. I'm still very charming. And all the ladies love me. So it is what it is, baby. <laughs>